Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial on how to start the King Air C90 from Cold and Dark. Okay, so there will be a couple of places in the cockpit that I'll be talking about. So, you see those two dials that say turbine on them? That's how fast the turbine is spinning. And then, down here... There's all of the switches, so there's battery switches, generators, ignitions, and engine starts, lights over there, more lights, and then in that center bit, that's called the center pedestal, so we have th uh, throttle levers here, there's condition prop controls, which control the pitch of the propeller blade. Then down here is the condition lever, which controls how much fuel goes into the engine. So right now it's set to fuel cutoff, which means that no fuel is going into the engine. And then here is where I've set it to now, low idle. That means that there's not a lot of fuel going in. And if I set it all the way up as far as it can go, that's setting it to high idle. So that's putting in a lot of fuel. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to give power to the systems by turning on the battery and we need to make sure that the bleed air switches are off so that uh, sorry they're on so that then the engine's drawing air from the outside to start we need to make sure that the avionics power switch which is down here is off and same as EFIS power switch is off, see it's switched off, that EFIS, uh, those two displays there, and we're setting those two and the avionics off, so that if the engine doesn't start correctly, then it doesn't damage any of the avionics. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn on the beacon light, so that if anybody's walking around on the ground, they can see that we're about to start our engine. That's what the big aeroplanes do when they're on the ramp. Now we need to set the ignition switch to on. When the, the right turbine is 12% or above, we set the condition lever to low idle. And then, again, once it gets to 51% or above, we set it to high idle. And then we need to wait for it to stabilise. There we go, 51%, set to high idle. And then we need to turn off the ignition switch. And then we wait for the engine to stabilise. Okay, now we're starting the left engine. So we do the same steps as before. We turn ign engine ignition on. Wait for the turbine to get up to 12% or above, which it has. Now we set the condition lever to low idle. Wait for it to get to 51% or above, and then we go up to high idle. There's 51%, engine set to high idle, ignition switch is off, and now we wait for the engines to stabilise. Okay, now that the engine's stabilised, we can. We need to turn on the generator so that then the engine is charging the battery a lot like an alternator in a car. And then we can turn on EFIS power and avionics master switch. And as you can see there, those two displays are on, which is the EFIS power, and all of the GPS and radios are lit up. So that's the avionics. And then we turn on whatever other lights we want. And that's how you start up the C90 in X-Plane 10 mobile. 